Let's jump to this third ending. Alright. <gasps> Mr. Producer! Oh, now I can find out. Okay, count up the debug achievement, right? So, we found out that at the moment, 11... Uh, November 11th, the biggest amount of people liked Akko, then it was Chioko, and at the very end, Ibuki. Which, by the way, is completely different order compared to me, if you think about it. Completely? Yeah, it is kind of completely like, because the one that people, the least people liked was my favorite, right? Uh, wait, what I'm saying right now kind of doesn't make sense. Yeah, I mean, my order of like, ability or whatever is different than like overall, I would say. Yeah. Like, my number one is Overall of people number three My number two so Akko is number one and my number Three so Chioko is number two over here like something like that <laughs> Yeah, completely different order which is fine anyway Let's get to it Ha, ah, Mr. Producer Is this some kind of joke? Also, no, I would never joke about feelings. Never. No. Not possible. No. I wouldn't play around with your feelings like that. I'm not that cruel. Chico, I... Ahem. <clears throat> I'm telling the truth. I really do love you. I know you're an idol and I'm your producer, idols aren't supposed to date, especially not popular idols like you, because that's what you are now. After winning the competition, you will become an incredible popular idol, you'll have fans all over the world, everyone will adore you, but... I've gotten to know you over the last month, and I... adore you more. Mr. Producer... I... I... I thought you thought I was annoying. I can never say what I really mean, and I'm always cruel to you. I've made fun of your home, and I make fun of your appearance, and I make fun of your leadership skills. I'm not a nice girl, I'm catty, I'm cruel, I use my words to hurt people. Because I'm afraid of getting hurt myself. How can you confess to a girl like me? She does have a point. During our troubled relationship, Choco has always been rather confrontational. She's much tougher than Akko and her sharp words don't have the same playful childlike lilt to them that Ibukis do. Yeah, but you could feel that she, did, she didn't actually mean that. She's like a cat. When Choco feels confused or upset or afraid, she draws her claws. She isn't afraid to bite or scratch. But I think I know why she does it. You're right, you can be hard to deal with, and you have irritated me from time to time, but... I like a challenge, I wouldn't have become a producer if I didn't enjoy suffering just a little. So you're saying you're a meow sohist? Maybe. But I also know, behind your harsh exterior, there lies a kind, charming, sweet girl who finds it difficult to articulate herself. That's the part of you that I fell in love with. You, but honestly, I like all of you. I like how hard you're trying to achieve your goals. Wait, that's uh, something. Okay, by all of you, you. <laughs> I know. I thought. Wait, why are you saying all of you? Why do you say suddenly about all the girls? But it's about all of Chioko. Got it. Sorry, my misunderstanding here. Anyway, I like how hard you try to achieve your goals. I like how you don't give up on your dreams, regardless of what others say. I like how confident you are, and how bold, and how you're not afraid to take charge. I like you for who you are, even if you insult me. Can you stop that for? 
I really do like you, Choco. Even if you think you were a cut in a past life. But, Mr. Producer, I... I know I'm not really a cut. What? What a plot twist. Uh, should we even be listening to this? I feel like this is kind of private. I like listening. Because you have no sense of shame. It's true. I am. Um, I've always known. I'm not really a cat. I mean, I'm obviously not a cat. I just... When I was young, I tried so hard to please my parents. I studied hard. And I went to scrum school. And attended ballet lessons. And I did all the extracurricular activities my mother wanted, but... It wasn't enough. My sister were smarter than me and older and my parents always praised them. I was ignored at home and I didn't even have any friends at school so I started <clears throat> I started saying I was a cat in a past life because I wanted attention. I wanted to stand out and I wanted people to think I was special. I wanted to feel special myself. I know it's stupid really. It's all one big act, but I've been doing it for so long. I can help myself. That's just the way I am. Everything about me is a lie. I know it's a lie, but but I keep doing it because it's easier to wear a mask than face up to the truth. You say I'm brave, but actually I'm just a huge coward. Choco. I take a step towards Chioku and gently tilt her head upwards with my fingertips. I don't think you're a coward. What? You're not a coward. A coward could never have stood up on a stage like that, in front of millions of people, and sing their heart out. But I, I was pretending to be somebody I'm not. So you're not a cat, so what? That doesn't mean I like you unless... In fact, hmm, I'm more of a dog person myself. For to be fair, cat girls win with dog girls. But wolf girls win with cat girls. Yeah, that's how it is. Well, we'll have to disagree there. Dogs are loud, horrible, smelly creatures, but... And you know what? Cats walk on your goddamn furniture everywhere. It's crazy. No. And most importantly, they leak butter. <laughs> I hope you do know what I'm talking about exactly here right now. You better do recognize the reference, okay? If you don't, then I guess you have not seen one hella good cartoon. But... Yes? Thank you, Mr. Producer. You can use my first name. <clears throat> Arthur. Thank you. I... I... I know I don't always show it, but... I think I love you too. And with this sudden declaration, Choco wraps her arms tightly about mine. I can feel her chest pressing up against my side. Her body is so soft and warm and her face is burning bright red. But I don't get the wrong idea, alright? I'm not giving, going to give up my car to be your cute housewife. In fact, I can't cook or clean at all, so there. I'm going to do my best to become a super popular idol, no matter what. That's what I want. You wouldn't be you if you gave up on your hopes and dreams for me. Uh, that isn't the stubborn, headstrong Choco I fell in love with. Right. Well, if you're fine with that, then... Arthur? Yes? I really do love you. Ah. I feel something soft and warm against my lips. A kiss. Choco is kissing me. 
I take her in my arms and kiss her back. I bite down on Choco's lower lips so she moans and slide my tongue into my mouth. I hold her close. I want to stay with Choco and I want to see her blossom into the most beautiful idol there is. That's my only wish. That's right. All right. So now we know Choco also developed feelings even for she was well trying to hide it before behind the way she was wording stuff and so on which is sort of acceptable with the way she was treated by her family really understandable then again we knew she was like that we knew it was all an act all along uh yeah it's a nice ending as well however it's still not the last ending, so be sure to be subscribed, that way tomorrow you will get the info about the last ending. I believe this is the last ending, right? Uh, and we'll see what is happening in that ending exactly tomorrow. No, I really hope you will tune in for that as well. For now, Paul. Hope you have a wonderful day, and I'll see you then. Bye bye!